Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some more Naya Legends. This deck, we had a lot of fun playing this deck uh, before War of the Spark. This is our first time trying it out with War of the Spark. And we have a lot of new cards added on here to try out. We have in the three mana slot, we have Gideon and Domri to add in here. We got a Johnny uh, also to put a bunch of counters on stuff. Chandra gets some good card advantage in there. Sarkin turn all of our Planeswalkers into creatures. We have a lot of new cards here in this deck. So I've played a few different Legends decks, uh, especially Druidic Vow decks, as you've seen before, like with Bant, for example. Um, even our, the Esper Legends. This one is more aggressive. We're trying to attack here. We have some two-mana legendary creatures with Amara and Shauna to get down. And then we have some haste. We got Captain Lannery Storm, Tajik. We get to start doing some damage. That's what Gideon does too. Gideon and Domri is a pretty cool combination of like, you know, like Gideon's a 4-4 a four, four creature. Then Domri can come down afterwards and have you... Uh, and then you can fight with the Gideon that's indestructible and prevent all damage and all that kind of stuff. Um... Our five mana slots, we have like a, a bunch of five mana things because because basically Urza's Ruinous Blast is really good and there's just so many good five mana legends. So that's like the most expensive part of the deck. Captain Lannery Storm does a really good job of making treasures to help you cast the, these five mana things a little early also. Um, but yeah, that's kind of our deck. Uh, yeah, we got our angels in here for our anti-aggro stuff. We're kind of all over the place. Tons of two ofs. Not really playing three of anything except for like these land war elves. The deck's kind of all over the place, but it's a lot of fun. And when you ha play a deck with a bunch of one, like when you have like one one ofs and two ofs, um, then uh, when you have a deck like that, then you're going to be having different hands all the time. You know, you're not going to really be playing the same kind of game basically ever. So let's give this a try. The green white lands are down here. Yeah, we got. We got three Sun Petal Groves, four Temple Gardens. They're down there. Um, having too many of the tap lands can be a problem. So yeah, we have a mountain instead of like the Rootbound Crag and a the extra Rootbound Crag and a, a Plains instead of the extra Sun Petal Grove. We don't really need double green too much. You know, we have like the Vivians and the Tulsimers as double green. There's a lot of red and a lot of white in here. I'm happy with like the extra basics. Let's go. Naya Legends. Don't know how this deck will really play too much with the new format and everything. I think this is our first time playing it with War of the Spark, so we'll see how it goes. Command the Dread Horde in this metagame. Okay. How much removal and creatures there are and planeswalkers and stuff. Hey, what's up, Hawkeye? So that's a sleeper card these days, you're saying, huh? Command the Dread Horde. How are you doing, Hawkeye? Okay. We're starting a new deck. Do you want to come see it? Yeah, we have a Johnny in this one. It's your favorite card. No. I was really excited about this Gideon against Grixis. Ooh, Lannery Storm. That's a good one. Attack. I'll be able to Vivia next turn now. All right, and Vivian just kind of start filling the hand back up. You can't stop nature. We'll take this Amara. No. I'm a planeswalker. All right, let's try to draw more Planeswalkers. We've seen two so far. Got Thought Erasure to the Nain Grass Rampaged. I guess I should have just, I guess if I would have Shalide first, they couldn't target player 
anything, so maybe I should have done that. And we wouldn't have to worry about, like, a Thought Erasure at all or anything. Wow. Shall I just shutting down that opponent that only had three lands? So let's get rid of Runus Blast against the Grixis deck. Ooh, no, Sarkin, you come on back. Um, hmm. I don't really have a sideboard for Grixis. I have to play three of these cards. Guess we're playing Knight of Autumns and... One Coil, I suppose. I don't really want Dawnbringer. I gotta want the third Dawnbringer. I don't want Cinder Vines. I don't want Wanderer. Yeah, I guess we're playing a Lava Coil. Yeah, Bolas can like... Or like, Coil can kill a Bolas. Maybe they have a Thief. Maybe they like enter the God Eternals and... can Coil that. <laughs> and of course we have the Coil in our opening hand. Domri's pretty cool. Still. We had the potential for, like, let's say, let's say they didn't have the interaction. We could have turned two, played the Domri, and played another Lana War Elf. And then turn three, we would have had six mana. We could have Druidic Vowed for four already on turn three. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. Hmm. I walk a righteous path. I think. believe in you, friend. Yeah, we won't answer to other guilds. So I want to just wait a turn before I vow. Try to vow for five because we have so many five mana cards. Lame. We won't Hopefully no counter spell. Bow for five. Resolve? No. No. Yeah, five color reborn was really sweet. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, Ginger. You know, the 30 pound uh, bulldog food in stock. Royal, can Royal Canine. Is it something that, is it just like out of stock? Man, that Druidic Vow was like everything I needed. Again. All right, I'm kind of glad they minus. So now, if we draw a haste creature, uh, really, we draw a knight of autumn after the as Kanta flips. Come on. All right, well, they got us Kanta and Bolas. Let's pick it up. Cool. He'll grab it if it comes back in with the code. Thanks, Ginger. Ginger. Do they have like different? Sizes instead of the 30 pound. I play Cindervine instead of the Lava Coil because 
I don't want those as those as cantos to flip. <laughs> hmm. Nah. Wow, two one landers in a row. We have twenty six lands here in this deck. I'll get this in play. The Shauna doesn't do a whole lot. We'll just have the Cinder Vines in play, so if they have Thought Erasure, I'd rather them Thought Erasure away the, the Shauna. Yeah, the Wanderer would stop Lava Coil enter the God Eternals, yes, but it's not... I don't know. May maybe. The Cinder Vines on turn two here is kind of nice, though. If we would have had the Wanderer, it would have just got removed. Yeah, we have 26 lands and the four land of War Elves, so those back-to-back -back one landers was kind of rough. Our curve's really high, though. Like, we have just a ton of, of five drops. Vivian. Tilt. That was a good hand for them. Thought Razor on two, Moment on three, Kafnet on four, Nickel Bolas on five. That's pretty good. Conceivable. I outsmarted you eons ago. That's pretty good against my five card hand. Pretty good. Five card hand did not get there. I think we win that. Honestly, I think that match was won by the disdainful stroke on the game two. I think we would we would have won that match. We won game one, and I think we get game two if they don't counter the Kamal's druidic vow for five. Yeah, if you get to play Bolas and you're not too far behind, Bolas just takes over. It is ridiculously good. But if you are like on an even board or ahead and you're playing Bolas and making them exile stuff, you're just you win. I'm keeping it. We're a 26 land deck. Talked about how we're flooding out. Let's 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 keep the the good spells. Well. This is kind of sad. And this precon's gonna get us. Uh, not been doing so good recently, the last few matches. <laughs> Extra Ruinous Blast, um, extra Lyra.
and take out the Vivians. Try again. Not work on moat. So yeah, it, it should the for uh sorry, good for um Chewy. The thirty percent off on Chewy is for whenever you have to sign up for auto ship, it should just apply automatically. You have to sign like whenever you sign up for auto ship, and it's also for people that have not signed up for auto ship before. It's for so if you if you have used Chewy before with auto ship, um, then yeah, it's, it's for the for new users there. So maybe that's. But besides that, if you are a new user and you're going through there and you're selecting auto ship and it's not working on mobile, let me know. Because then that's. It should be, as far as I know. I don't know why I didn't have Black Blade out. No, Gideon, Gideon was a better option. I guess I was just kind of talking and I, like these lands, I thought I only had one white source. I didn't realize I had two white sources. <laughs> I didn't realize I could get a cast Gideon. Sorry. As long as you do that, uh, auto ship as a new user, I, I get the credit. Yeah. It, Cause it's just using the referral link. All you have to do is use the referral link and it'll come back to me and, and it'll be all good. Prime day for justice. I believe in you. Now the Tajik. I guess I'm going to coil this inspiring cleric. I don't want to save the coil for something better, but. I will lend you my strength. All right, this is where we draw a Kamal's Druidic Vow. Again, lots of man out here. It dies immediately. If you minus six Gideon when it has six loyalty, it will die immediately. Dang it, why didn't you play that previously? Ugh, that's a card I wanted to coil. Hey, see Wookiees. Hooray! Take a hit or two. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can attack and make it seven. Let's do that. Prepare for battle. I can pop the two treasures, and then it's only five, but it kills the war leader. So, do I do seven? And don't kill War Leader, or do I do five and kill War Leader? I'm not sure which one I want to do. Because I like seven, five and kill War Leader. Now go seven, seven. War Leader is really important to kill. Five kill, seven. Seven's a lot better. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go the safe route and kill this war leader. I feel like this war leader has got to be like their best or like one of their best cards in their deck. 
kind of thing. Let's just do this. <laughs> uh, well, we got a lot of lands out of here. Maybe I needed seven. But at least the war leader's gone. We don't have to worry about war leader now. So Gideon's down now. My strength Can we draw another Druidic Vow? Oh, not that lucky. So sixth card would have been Amara. We'll see what the other two cards would have been. So we would have we would have put in Amara in play, which was not Amara would not stop a war leader. I'm thinking it's a good thing we got rid of the war leader. Oh, I didn't charge the sleeves. Yeah, I didn't charge the sleeves. Good call. No, another war leader. All right, we want to draw either of our legendary sorceries. Urza's Ruinous Blast or Kamal's Druidic Vow. All right, I'll take that one. Get rid of all those. Just one side, exile every permanent you own. It's a fair card. <laughs> all right going to game three so yeah lira was the eighth card and then they they also had like the pacifism for lira anyway do we need more coils i basically only need to kill war leader Nah. <clears throat> Maybe we'll actually find a Chandra this time. Chandra's cool. I was definitely thinking about replacing these with Lava Coils. This was the card that I was looking at to replace with Lava Coil. I'm going to live in a time with where a 6 6 for 5 mana with upside is perfectly okay, but a pacifism for 2 mana is considered to be too strong. Passive, pacifism for 2 mana is not too strong, right? Because there's like Seal Away, Baffling End. I guess those are all. I don't think I don't think anybody thinks the pacifism for 2 mana is too strong. So good chance that I shouldn't be casting Domri here. Domri does allow my Shauna to trade with Pride Mate. But if they have removal for Shauna, then Domri's dead. Good chance I could have just I could have just done nothing and then play Shalai and then play Lyra and then and then you know like Domri fight. Um good news though, so they did have removal for Shauna, but the good news Hit me again. is Oh, right, because that uh, thing grows because yeah, the Dan is the first strike. Anyway, good news is now they don't have... Hopefully they don't have removal for the Angels now. So I was I was kind of baiting the the removal on the Shauna because I want like the Angels to not have removal on them. Yeah, that's true. Sky Tether is pacifism for a white man for just single white mana. Good point. Hawk, okay, are you happy about the Chewy sponsorship? 
Hawkeye seems pretty happy. What is this attack about? Well, it says, thank you for the stream. You gave me gave me power of top deck. I just won my seventh game <laughs> of drafting by playing turn one cat, turn two cat, turn three cat. That is awesome. That's some good magic right there. Ah, they wanted to gain life for the pride mates. Got it. They'll gain one life with that. Well, I mean, we're going to outrace these pride mates. Like, we're going to be fine in this. He had six cats in the deck. Nice. That one drop cat that, like, puts counters on the other cats. Or something like that. Those pride mates are going to get pretty big. They're dead next turn. Yeah, I definitely should not have played the other Shauna. Oh no. That was a weird game. Could have definitely been more aggressive. And finished that one out earlier. Oh well. Okay, so we're one and one. That one was pretty I mean that was a pretty close game for them playing, you know, like the, the black white precon there. Like it was actually pretty close. I let them be make that pretty close, for sure. But here we go. Hmm. So definitely be better on the play, but we'll try it out. We'll have, like, Tulsimar on turn four if we just swing in with the, the Lannery Storm after we play that. Ugh. It's definitely hoping for the Lannowar Elf. If we just, you know, the, the turn one Lannowar Elf just really speeds this thing up. Hello. 
kitty's name is Hawkeye. Burglar rat. Probably coil that. Yeah, the reason why I'm keeping a hand with five lands with this deck is the curve is really high. And a far better dresser than you. Perish the thought. Attack. Good. Like, there's a ton of five drops in this deck. And then we also have the Druidic Vows, where we want like at this least seven mana. Part of our contract. And all we knew is my opponent was mulliganing to six. So we were just on the draw there. They they were mulliganing to six. And I saw that, and I was like, well, we, we'll be able to cast our spells. Casting spells is nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I meant Bugler at. Good. Yeah. Dealing with you will be easier than dealing with Let's tidy up in there. Discard deck. Well, I was just going to Tulsimer fight the rat. Which I shouldn't play this July pre-combat, but... Alright, they still block anyway. Hopefully they cannot kill Shalai, because if they can't kill Shalai, Davriel doesn't do anything. Yeah, for the University of Iowa, the Iowa Hawkeyes. That's what Hawkeye is named after. I was born in Iowa. Hawkeye was from Iowa. He was a stray cat there on my grandmother's farm in Iowa. So that's why he's named Hawkeye. He's having fun just standing up over here in my way. You can do it, Horatio. You can do anything you put your mind to. Um, Naya's doing okay for us. We This is like the second deck in a row that's not the most competitive of decks that we're playing against. We didn't see anything except for Davriel and a rat there. Um... I don't, I don't know what I want to play out of these. I'll play this Knight of Autumn. <laughs> yeah, Chandra killing herself due to Shalai. Yeah, Shalai, I had Hexproof. Yeah, there's no other Planeswalkers in play. That was pretty sweet. True, we did see a playcrafter. This hand's pretty nice. Got good mana, have a turn two and turn three play. Yeah, I don't I don't have Squee anymore now with the new three mana planeswalkers. No more Squee. Just got squeezed out of the deck. Couldn't fit him in. I haven't tried Four Color Legends, but that's another one that's on my list of decks to make. I want to play 
I want to make a four color legends with Nicol Bolas, Jace. Um, and honest, honestly, maybe even just Grixis legends with like, you know, three mana Jace and Nicol Bolas. I haven't done that yet. I haven't, you know, made a, have a Bolas make more Boluses with a five mana. This quick. Um, let me pick your brain for a minute. Thanks, Hellion. Welcome to the channel. We'll go ahead and get rid of another Rootbound Crag. <laughs> hey, we played Niv Mizzet Reborn earlier, Prep Coin, and it was really good. That's the five color Reborn. We went 5 0 with it. It was awesome. All right, let's just kill this Davriel. So we stop discarding cards. <laughs> it's up on the YouTube channel already. And we, with that, with that one, we played all good decks. We played, um, yeah, it was a good league. We played against Esper Hero, uh, Bant Midrange, uh, Mono Red Aggro. Um, we played against Sultai Midrange, and. Gruel. Uh, you know, like Gruel, like aggro, mid range, whatever. Like they had, you know, like uh, Gruel Spellbreakers and Phoenixes and Sarkin and that kind of stuff. Bunch of Planeswalkers like the new Domri and all those kind of things. So Gideon works pretty well with Amara, making Amara indestructible, so you can just attack in and make new tokens. You can just attack in with Impudity. Kind of same thing with Lannery Storm if you want treasures, but I, I'll just take the 1-1 over a treasure. No, I don't do any drafts, Grim Grimy. I don't do any drafts. I just do standard and play tons and tons of different decks all the time but yeah i play like usually four I'll decks a day um, a mind is a terrific thing to waste yeah we could kill the blocking bell hunt i also just don't really mind this bell hunt being on the battlefield though struggling All right, uh, Lifelink. You do not want to give Amara... You don't want to give Amara Vigilance. That is not a combo. Boom. I have some fine prints to obfuscate. Morg says, hey, Todd, I recently made your mono black zombie deck. Would you make any changes to the main deck for best of one ranked? Um, so if you're playing best of one with the zombie deck, I'm sorry, Marco. So it's going to really Pistra. be tough to beat mono red honestly i think what you want to do with the deck if you want to play a best of one is just so i don't play a ton of best of one but isn't like correct me if i'm wrong isn't the best of one just a lot of like mono red and esper and if so you probably just want to tune it to be the best it can be against esper I believe in you, friend. Okay, yeah, if it's lots of aggro decks, like, you don't want to play it against the aggro decks. Um, but the heavy control decks, you could probably play it there.
All right, and now I will just go ahead and get this Bell Haunt out of here. Bell Haunt's being annoying. Pathetic. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. But yeah, we didn't do very good with the Mono Black Zombie deck. It didn't feel very powerful compared to like the other decks in the format, especially with, like the mid-range decks. But hopefully with with best of one, hopefully like the mid-range decks are just are just kind of gone and it's just all like really, really controlling decks or really, really aggro decks because of like how being on either side of the spectrum, you're just rewarded so much with one game of being on either end of the spectrum and you would be good against the control heavy deck. Do not frighten me. Yeah, I thought about grabbing a land for sure with um, with like them discarding cards so much. Definitely consider just grabbing the land. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Hmm. I will lend you my strength. Yeah, I don't know why Masquerade Girl doesn't have any animation. I feel like Masquerade Girl should have, like, a really cool animation of, like, each time it triggers and stuff. Like, she's, like, spinning around, killing things or whatever. Masquerade Girls do. Alright, Soren down, which means that the Masquerade Girl can attack freely here. She does have menace. It's rude. That was nothing. No one knows the wilds like I do. So it's not a May that they fight. It does. Oh, so just automatically. So Tulsmer, they have to fight. <clears throat> I just want to sit back with like my two creatures. I hadn't really gone to a spot where I didn't want to fight with Tulsmer yet, but I just kind of assumed it was a May. Oh, you can choose zero. Okay, so if I just wouldn't have clicked on any, because you, like, sometimes it's like you click on one, and then it's like, do you so want to fight? And it's like, like no. That, like, you know, like, Kral Harpooner. You know, like, Kral Harpooner is like, you choose one, and then you say yes or no, and so that's why I was kind of, you know, I'm used to playing Kral Harpooner, so I just kind of figured it was, like, the in the same vein there. I believe in you. Yeah, so now I know from the next time. Oh, fanatical firebrands effect changed also? So I took Aurelia over Lyra because I can cast Aurelia there. Lyra would have just been in my hand, or like I couldn't double spell. I 
tried my best. <clears throat> uh, get out of my way! Okay, two and one. GG. Yeah, our opponent just didn't have very much to do there. They couldn't. They probably just didn't have anything better than Liliana to play, and Liliana still didn't help him out too much. Ugh. Why can't we have any lands? Okay, we got some lands now. Alright, so it looks like Esper with a crappy mana base. Hmm. Alright, you get my one card. Somebody did, sorry, Spazzy, somebody, like, two lines above you the first time did exclamation point deck, and MTG bot has a cooldown. There, it comes up now. <clears throat> if the exclamation point deck doesn't work, it's because somebody else did it right, right before you, like, if you just joined the stream and immediately hit it. So you have to be a little patient. If the link doesn't work on mobile for you, I, I don't really know what to say. Then I, I don't know. Okay, it's just, yeah, you just need to wait. Yeah, it's just unfortunate timing. It's my turn. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. That's convenient. I forgot we had Chandra in here. We hadn't seen Chandra yet. Chandra's going to do some work for us. If hold that thought. So they got the two guild gates out of the way early, and they've had all shock lands after that. Hasty creature. Hmm, that would just make me lose a loyalty. Oh, right, to me. Right, I pulled this up. Uh, Demonic Fire Lord. I hadn't looked at it yet. But yeah, last time, whenever you said it, I, I just opened it in a new tab the Bant deck. Isn't that, is that like what we just played against? Do we play against this in the sub battle stream? Yeah, like we played against this deck in the sub battle stream. Whatever, figure it out on your own. All right, they got millions of cards and a Teferi. Let's try again. So I have three really bad cards, two Blasts and one Lava Coil, but the problem is I don't really have three really good cards to put in. I think Knight of Autumn and Cinder Vines are like the best options. Um...
I guess we just try the Cinder Vines. Have some more turn two stuff, and they... Yeah, we'll just play Cinder Vines. Um, do I want the fourth Cinder Vines over anything? It's maybe over this uh, Johnny. But yeah, that deck looks pretty good. Just planeswalkers and fogs and sweepers and just try to mill yourself out. All right, Cinder Vines, try to do some work. <laughs> so good news is we are on a seven card hand this time. Bad news is we don't have anything to do the next two turns yet. Dang. I'm going to say that's what our draw step's for, though. Cloud is a good card. It's a good card. Anonymous Santa Claus here, gifting out eight subs to the channel. Getting our subs on the day up to 20. Helping us hit another sub goal here. Welcome, everybody. Get some hype in the channel. Thank you so much. So if you're one of the new subscribers, hope you enjoy having access to all the really cool emotes. We got Dr. Scott Strange. Lortharias, um, Asu, Asua Kitsuni. Man, these words are hard to pronounce. <laughs> Kastazek, Zero Mus, Spit Dart, Coke Campos, and Johasu. Alright, got another contempt out of them. Very good there. Neat. My newest friend. All right, that bumps us up to 20. Oh, we got to crack two packs now because we didn't crack a pack earlier. And a half of them. The wilds are my shield. All right, we'll go with half. Half also with the sub. Thanks, half. Yeah, Shinjima, I could do that between leagues. I could do that. Yeah, somebody wanted me to open up two packs. Alright, go Vivian, go. At least if they minus and tuck Sorry, Vivian, then Lana Warolf kills Teferi. Keep up the pace. All right, so not tucking yet. And there's half also getting in on the the sub. Well, thank you very much to the very kind person that donated there, and also to half as well. No one knows the wilds like I do.
This should... <laughs> Thanks, Yud. This should hopefully help me... So I'm playing Shalai here instead of Tristani because I want to be able to ultimate Vivian. So hopefully win. this helps me ultimate Vivian. Because they need, like, removal for... What? Why don't, why don't you mortify Shalai? Why is why is that the card to get mortified? Oh, that's why. <laughs> My army of a little death never hurt anyone. You need to take a time out. Rise and shine. No time for a break. Yeah, Liliana's really strong. Oh, okay. Meow. More lands. You know what? We need, I'm not where's our done. Kamal's Druidic Vow? We need Druidic Vows. We have been doing a good job of drawing Druidic Vows. Smelly, but effective. Right, well, our opponent's going to give us our Tristani back. So that's nice of them. But they still get the extra one ones. All right. Well, I don't mind that getting Dovin's vetoed because that doesn't that card doesn't really do very much for us. We need to move quickly. But even, even with taking up Vivian all those times, we only drew 10 spells. Like, we only found 10 total spells. And then all these lands, and, you know, it's just not going to compete with all these spells that our opponents had. Cinder, Cinder Vines is embarrassing. Yeah, the Tristani thing, is that's a mistake that everybody makes exactly once. True. All right, two and two for Naya Legends. Let's crack open those packs. We get two packs here. Wow. Well, that's the best pack that you can get. The Mythic Wild card. <laughs> and... Solar Blaze. I forgot about that card. I forgot that was even a card. Hmm. Alright, let me update. Hey, good job, Dr. Grindel. Made it to the destination. No problem. Happy happy to be here. Okay, so Naya Legends didn't was really disappointing, honestly. Those are just like the two wins that we had were against two decks that weren't very good and they were like close wins. We never really curved out. Basically we just all of our games are either us just like flooding out and just having all these like way too many lands. Or just us, like, looking at one-landers and mulliganing to, like, zero and not playing any magic. And that was just kind of all of our games. <laughs> it was just really disappointing. Um, yeah, we just didn't... <laughs> that's kind of that's basically all we did here. Um, 
Yeah, maybe we maybe we do cut Vivian. Maybe we cut Vivian for like more Sarkin, uh, more Sarkin, more other planeswalkers, or try to go or go more creatures and get rid of the other planeswalkers for Vivian. Yeah, Vivian was pretty disappointing. Um, we need kind of like more card draw or more aggro or something. It was just yeah, the deck needs a little bit of work. Uh, maybe I just need more Druidic vows. Like maybe this is like a. Like instead of the two Vivians, just play two two more Druidic Vows, kind of thing. That was like a card that we always just wanted to draw, and I only have the two. But with how many, like like these extra Planeswalkers and everything, make it a lot easier to cast Druidic Vow, like with the Black Blades and Domri and stuff like that. And yeah, Vivian was not very good. There was not. Not like a whole lot of flyers or anything for Vivian to minus around these days. There's not like as many crackling drakes running around, for example. Um, yeah, Sarkin is awesome. So you could definitely see just like taking out these two Vivians, play another Sarkin, and another another Druidic Vow. I like that. I like that. What's the best Legends deck? Honestly, like, so... All right, so the Legends decks that I have are all built around the Legendary Sorceries, right? Like, that's why I call them, like, the Legends decks. The best performing decks that I've seen and played and stuff have been, like, Planeswalker-heavy decks that aren't that don't really have the legendary sorceries too much in them um i don't want nissa we don't have enough i don't think we have enough forest really for nissa nissa does just kind of make all of our our extra lands into threats though maybe we do want a nissa maybe we do want a nissa um I don't know. Definitely need more Juridic Vow in here. That was a card we just never had. But yeah, we could have had like Ugin. Yeah, Ugin could be a card in here. Ugin's really strong. Shauna's just not very good with how many creatures we we don't have. I think we have to do some some changing with this deck. Um It kind of seems like playing so before before we'd have a, a good amount of legendary creatures with like some planeswalkers in like these decks, but the planeswalkers from War of the Spark are all just really really strong, and it just seems like just playing as many of those planeswalkers is really what you want to be doing. So going away from like Shauna, Amara, Lannery Storm, Legion's Edge, like these kind of cards, and just playing like maybe some more interaction with like some more removal, and just going full on planeswalker, real real planeswalker heavy, and then having like Sarkin to like help all these planeswalkers kill the the opponent kind of thing. Um and that's where it kind of seems like we should maybe be going. Three, yeah, I like 3 mana. If we're going that way then 3 mana S Sarkin could maybe fill in a slot just to yeah, cycle through the deck. Um There's just one Ajani. It's not like this one Ajani is going to turn on in incubation druid very often the the reason why to play lannery or sorry lana war elf in this deck instead of incubation druid is because uh, we didn't do it too much today but there's with all the shock lands and stuff having turn two lannery storm to like those were like really good plays that i've had before in the nile legends decks uh whenever we're playing them like these on turn two and now we could potentially have gideon or domri turn two like these are just awesome turn two plays that like really set up we just our hands were just not very good this whole time. We never really curved out. We just had, a, you know, mulligan to nothing or all lands kind of thing. Um, but yeah, as far as like the best legend deck that I have is is probably the Esper Legends. The Esper cards are really good, you know, when you're having like Narset to Fairy, stuff like that. 
Um, that deck could use a little bit of work too, though. I think like these Legends decks, I think I kind of want to start, like I was saying, I think I want to start remaking them and just make them all Planeswalker base and kind of get rid of like creatures, basically. Because like with Sarkin, like how good Sarkin is, you just don't need creatures really. The Planeswalkers are super strong. <clears throat> all right. Uh, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you learned some stuff. Go ahead. You know, if you if you're trying out some stuff, let me know how it's going. If you're trying out like your own legend legendary decks, um, if you got like your own Druidic Vow deck that's doing really well, let me know how it's going. Uh, we could go as far as Druidic Vow. Like maybe we just go like blue green. There's maybe enough Planeswalkers and just simply blue green that we're gonna have like Nissa and Nissa add a whole lot of mana. And then maybe there's enough legendary things with uh, um, Fibble Thip and Nissa and stuff like that. Who knows? Mayonator, thanks for that tier one sub. Thank you so much there. But yeah, that's it for Naya Legends. If you're watching this video later on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you for another video.